I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depending on when you're watching this show. I'm Rachel Goldsworth and I'm on the drive home to Hawkesbury wearing watched by everybody in Maria's fruit shop here. <laughs> it's Giverus. Yeah. How are you? I'm really good. That's really good. good. She's always happy, she's <laughs> always helpful and always got a big, big smile on her face. Yeah, we try. Yeah, absolutely. How long have you guys been here? Uh, so we've been in the Hawkesbury now for seven years. Okay. I've yeah. been in the actual shop here for five and a half years. Five and a half, wow. And where were you before that or you uh, just so started this? Coast. 15 years yeah yeah um, and then before that we were in Schofield okay yeah yeah, yeah. and you've always got genes that have yeah. helped you with this whole process yeah, yeah, and everybody business, yeah, yeah yeah absolutely yeah a lot of homegrown things on site yeah, as we well try to, yeah we try to and our main farms on the central coast yeah central coast yeah. okay and how long does it take you to ship them down about um they meet up at the markets so about an hour. About an hour. Yeah, so okay. another farm is about an hour and a half. Yeah, for sure. And how do you make sure that everything is always so fresh for everybody? Uh, a lot of good girls. Work <laughs> <with them. laughs> yeah, and we move a lot of produce. A lot of produce does. We, we do get busy here. Yeah. A lot of produce does get moved. There'd be thousands of people that come here uh, every yeah, week. We, we've never taken any notice. No, we've never counted them. <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah, work. for sure. Yeah. And, you know, obviously you've got different and seasonal vegetables right, and fruit. Yeah. So yeah. is there anything in particular people need to know about at different times of the year? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. so you just always got to go for your seasonal kind of fruit. Yes. Um, your main things at the moment are the vegetables, so the cauliflower, the broccoli, all that nice stuff. It's in season now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you always get some good local stock as well yeah, from yeah, different so a lot people. Of local farmers help yeah, us. yeah, yeah, which is terrific. That's right. And you're a big supporter of the Ebenezer Art Fair. Love them. Yeah. We love schools. We love schools. Yeah, you're always supporting the local community, and we love that about you. Yeah. And we want to be part of that. Um, and with that process, I think you're coming to um, the Ebenezer on the weekend, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to get out there with the yeah. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's terrific. Yeah. And if people want to come and find the best fruit and vegetable, and you know, local. That's right. Produce. Where are you? How can they find so you? So we're at 364 Kermind Road at Friends Reach. And yeah, we're open six days. We're not open Sundays. They've got to have a rest day yeah. on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody does. Yeah. And is there anything in particular in regards to fruit and vegetables? When you're keeping it in the fridge or where's the best spot to store it? So well, that they can... the shelf of your fridge. Yes. And you just ask the, ask the um, people that are serving you where's yes. the best place to keep it because everything's got different temperatures. Okay. No, yeah. terrific. And eggs, you've obviously got Definitely. those as so well. Definitely. So we've got 2,500 eggs on the property. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're definitely free range. Yes, and happy chickens, and um, yeah, and they've always got eight, eight, nine weeks um, used by date on them, so it's a long period. Terrific. Yeah, and if people want to call you and find out what the latest produce is, is there a phone number that they can contact you on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, we've got a um, Facebook page. Yes. Yep. Yeah, Skipper is fresh, and we've got um, all the website. Yeah. It's all, it's all there. Skip is fresh. No, terrific. Well, thank you so much for being part of the local community and being such a wonderful person. And, and I know that I get my fruit and vegetable here. There's nowhere else that I'd want to because it's yeah. always so fresh and, and yeah. lovely and delicious on the table at home. So thank, thank you very much for your thank contribution you so to the community. I really appreciate your cool. time. Thank okay, you. thank you. We'll thank see you on the next episode. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.